A bottle rocket Jesus with fucking all this Christ. shit spraying oh, out both ends. Sake. Well, well, your one ex wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Wow, <laughs> oh, fuck that true. guy, right? <laughs> I, or Hello. I guess don't. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the VGR Cast, week's podcast about anything and everything in between. This week, I'm from my friends, Steve, Mike, Monica, Ryan, and my lovely fiance, Chris. Jimmy. I'm Kevin, and I, welcome to the show. I, I'm How do I open sorry. this? This so is hey, all my fault. Hang on, you guys would. So there's an arrow pointing this way, right? So you would think that the pocket knife or the exacto knife would open this way. No, it opens oh, this way. I stabbed myself with something similar or the similar. Well, because it's like, well, it says work. because this yeah. is like where the um, this is where the like the second blade is held. So like on the other side, it's like open that way, but it's like in soft clothes, soft clothes. Um. Yeah. I prefer print. the ones oh. that like swing out. Like, you know, oh, like like switchblades. Yeah. Is that what you like, want for well, Christmas? They're... Like this one. Yeah. Oh. Did you steal that from work? We... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we should have titled. This yeah, I do the like those. Has too. a knife. <laughs> oh shit! I wasn't even thinking about that. I well, did, I just I saw think... it on top of my uh, computer, and I was like, I oh mean... wait. I don't think either of us knew that at least two people had sharp objects on them, so it's fine. I always have sharp oh, objects oh, on me. I'm a wait. crazy person. It's fine. What do you got now, oh, Mike? Oh, it's a knife. It's a yeah. knife. 
Car knife. I nice car no, knife. Car knife is still in the car. Oh, um, I I actually have I <laughs> got knife. Kevin for um, one of our one of my trips that I went with my parents. We went to the Alamo, and I got him uh, mm-hmm. an actual pocket knife from the Alamo that has his name carved on it. Oh, it's Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Ask me. I'm well, Kevin. It's like a. He's so Swiss cute. Army thing with my name on. Kevin. Nice. Yeah. Cute. Oh, I got to check my email real quick. I'm on call. Hold on. So why didn't um, you do that in between Minecraft and the podcast? So instead Mike. of getting stabbed, how about getting shot? Speaking of yeah. shot. Uh, oh shot. yeah. That is a it's good transition. Shot of the month. Shot we get one month. good transition a month. No, no, not of the month. Sorry, of what? <laughs> We'd be like, I don't know, be of the month. That's all we could afford. <laughs> Looking right. through the liquor cabinet to uh find uh what I haven't used in a shot yet, and I found the the old college favorite. We got some fireball. Ooh, fireball. Yeah. Now the mm. normal, now like the standard like fireball mix would be like uh with an angry orchard or with apple juice or something. You might see Good me drinking an angry orchard and apple juice. Um, but I'm gonna do something a little off the beaten path. We have what's called the cannonball, which is uh, one is Captain part. Morgan? Nope, it's one part of uh, fireball and two parts coke. So it's essentially a whiskey and coke, but with fireball. <laughs> so it's so, just I've I've just drank that before out of a glass. I've, I've had worse combinations. Yeah, I mean it's a little off the beaten path for uh, fireball. So down the hatch. I mean, that is really sweet and really tasty. I mean, can I be honest, Mike? Yeah, that's a bitch shot. <laughs> Fireball's oh, already. Fucker, I had a fucking lemon drop on this before. Fireball's that's already even very more of a bitch suitable. Shot. And all you're doing is you're just cutting it. Kevin, go get me my tequila. No. I know. <laughs> you're not a better shot, motherfucker. I'm tequila. My options here. I, tequila. Yes. No. Well, yeah, because you don't drink it, you shoot it. I mean, so like, no, it's still the worst shot. You ever. like margaritas, though, right? I know. It's, yeah, because but, that's loaded up with five different kinds of things. <laughs> true. And I mean, Monica was just singing tequila, which is a great song about alcohol. But I think a better song about alcohol is by Real Big Fish. We it's don't beer. have room in the budget for this. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin really uh, wants beer to to pl- wants that also, to be our theme song. I had a fucking jelly song. donut shot on here once. Yeah, that was delicious. delicious. Shot. I've had that shot before. It's delicious. Did it my aunt or yeah. my technically cousin? Yes, but we call her your aunt. Yeah, my aunt made it for you, and then you made it for them. No. Oh, never mind then. Anyway, just, beer. Steve. Hey, stop itching it! What? He was itching his eye, and he said, my eye itches, and then he's gonna wonder why it's red later. Okay. Uh, got myself a be- got myself my, uh, German beer for the week. It's called- it's, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can pronounce this. Yeah, pronounce it in Cur- German. Cur- hmm? Pronounce it in yeah, German. Yeah, put your deal- Put your duo, duo lingo to use. Oh, I am. Curb, curb faults brow. Brow is beer. I don't know what the first word means. Curb faults? Or, or brew, actually. Brow is brew. Curb faults is... How do you spell I don't it? Know that. K-U-R-P-F-A-L-Z. K-U-R-P-U... F. No, P-F-A-L-Z. Curb faults brow. Curb faults. Curb faults is a region in Germany, so it's yeah. not actually like... So it's a, it's there's no de- there, Yeah, so there's no like definition for it it's just a right it's just it's like a state i guess it's uh mm-hmm. so it's a hellas which i just looked up which i just looked up it says hellas or hell is a traditional german pale lager beer chiefly produced in southern germany particularly in munich so let's give this a shot I've been there munich i have not i want to go to germany so bad it's huh sorry go ahead off, off deutsch is pronounced munchen fun fact munchen München. 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 With a München. München. Yeah, München. München on some pussy. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know how to. I love us. I know how to. I, I, I know how to pronounce. Hey, I know how to pronounce German words, man. So let's. Also, I, um, while he drinks that, who here can roll their R's? <laughs> it's beer. Hey, nothing. Nothing to call home about. <laughs> Te- technically, cousins means that it's technically Chris's like. Sorry, you yeah, know, let me. Second cousin no, law. fuck off. Let me let me explain it. So <laughs> no last names. No, technically cousins. So my dad's cousin Bob, 
his wife. That's what I mean. Technically, she's my cousin. It's your second cousin-in-law. Not my aunt, but we call her aunt. Although, now that I've grown older, I just say Sarah and Bob. I'm just happy you didn't say so. his name was Jim Bob, because that would have just been um, the gonna, the prior life. His name's not Jim Bob, but I got Bob, who's my godfather, and then I got my brother-in-law, Jim. <laughs> so, my, Steve, how's the beer? Who's my sister Katie's husband? Uh, it is beer. <laughs> So you put the technically cousins together. Do you got any notes of anything? <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it's well, like... Well, Jim and Bob get along really It tastes well. like generic beer, unfortunately. Well, I was kind of expecting more from this uh, from this uh, imported beer from Germany, but... Uh, well, we are drinking some winning. some cupcake red velvet wine. Ooh. It was yeah. quite good. Yes, Harry, that is just America. Technically, yeah. she's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, it's certain parts of America. Mostly Georgia. <laughs> well, no, not mostly Georgia. It's also South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida. It's all of the Alabama. South. Alabama, Alabama I Louisiana. I meant, I meant Alabama, and, but I and, said Georgia. And don't for, don't forget te- don't forget Texas. No, 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 guys, you can't you cannot forget about those VIPs in Squid Game. How American they are. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Ooh. Fuck out of here. Ooh, Tiger Man. Why are we just guys, guys, no. guys, 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 yeah. 69. 69. Oh, and also oh 96. God. Where's my note about that? Hold on. Can, okay. First, can let's, let's... how bad the American voice acting was in the. Okay. In, or, was what are you talking about? So oh, I was going to bring this up. That's the my wrong side of note. Have been, one of the big critiques online for Squid Game was that the VIPs acting was not good it was so bad I, wait are you guys wait notice it very are you guys fine. wait are you watching the yeah. sub or the dub we're all watching the, the sub. sub we're all watching yeah, sub? I don't it was think fine it's a matter of um, yeah i thought i thought was, i think uh, they're at no Where's i think their acting it? is poor but they had it's, fine it's accents no, had, i don't yeah. i think their acting is fine i think the lines they had were shit yeah, it's, it's, yeah. well the line oh. the lines are bad their delivery was really weird too well it was like a Sorry, go ahead, Monica. I was going to say, it's very interesting because uh, I don't think it comes down to an acting thing. I think it comes down to how well they know English. Because some of them, like, it, it flows a little more naturally, while some of them, it's a little more uh, I... well and um... uh, choppy uh, with with that. And God damn it, I keep co- clicking on the wrong note. <laughs> yeah, and, um... I have the ultimate <laughs> counterpoint to all of this, but Chris, you go ahead. Um, shoot, no, I forgot his face. I forgot his mask. Um, tiger? No, not tiger. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about old man butt. Okay, wait. Okay, <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. Wait, we're, we're, don't don't before, go there yet. Before right, old let, man, let, before let, let, let's slow our roll before here, guys. beautiful tiger. Sh- <laughs> um, who is the? Uh, well, hold on, we're still talking about the acting. Talk about the acting. Okay. Yeah, I, I was trying. I wasn't to... done talking about the acting. Okay. Do you have more to say? Yeah, I was trying to figure out the actor that I was talking about that was kind of shitty. Okay, well then just... If well, you don't remember, then move one on. That was... Fine, Kevin. Why are you being like that? Well, because we're, we're, we're already late. <laughs> and whatever. We, we, we played... Anyway. Whatever, yeah. We played Minecraft beforehand. That's the, why you said it was okay. Well, yeah, but I'm saying that we've got a lot to talk anyway, about. Anyway, let's uh, move on. We can fight off stream. Anyways, my point was... Is think about who they're portraying though. They're portraying like the one percent, the douchebag, people who yeah. don't know how to be human. <laughs> like, like That's you know, good. think think about Mark Zuckerberg yeah. for example. Like you know, these people don't know how to act like people. Like oh yeah, so- like like Mark Zuckerberg. Like you know, uh, my, what the fuck is faces? My my living Tesla room man? barbecue sauce. Hmm. My living. Oh room yeah, room yeah, room. yeah 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 yeah. Okay yeah yeah. <laughs> Tesla man. I got you. I got I got your reference. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, the, the, look, I have barbecue sauce in my living room like everyone else. And yeah, it's just a wall of barbecue sauce, <laughs> sir. Don't you know what we're talking about? No, I, not at all. Oh. 
There, um, there, it, the Mark Zuckerberg made a video in his living room where, like, on his, like, TV, like, stand shelf, he just had a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray is just sitting there. It's just oh, like, yeah. well, but, but, but why <laughs> put that in your kitchen, you fucking weirdo? Yeah, we, I mean, <laughs> we'll leave it on a coffee table because that's where we had it last, but not on the TV stand where we can't reach our food. Yeah, yeah um, I, just the uh, oh, sorry, game. No, I I just contest. I contest that the acting was not yeah, as fine. awful as people have been making it out. I mean, it wasn't. I was. It was, was enter. Like, I like. It was entertaining. I liked it. It was a little stilted in the word specific words that they were saying. Like also, I just think it comes cursing. down to the knowledge of English. Uh, yeah. I liked it. Though. I think those all those those are all native speakers. I just don't think the Korean director knew how to direct them properly. That could you know, be, I, not having of, like. Go ahead. That, that could be it because there was a lot of cursing in the dialogue, so it could have been that he was just trying to fill it with like filler words to like, like oh, Amer the English pe or like, speakers cuss a lot. Yeah, yeah, or the fact that uh, Tiger was fo was focused on sixty nine and like so he's like, oh, that's an American thing, you know? I they're mean, all about. To be fair, though, to be fair, I mean, yeah, uh, that perfectly captures American and culture. And if we were VIPs, that's how we would bet on Squid Game, though. So. Oh, 420. <laughs> what do you mean, there <laughs> goes Steve? What does that mean? Yeah. I don't know. But Tiger Guy also had a distinctly Southern accent. Oh. Yes. Thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh no, no! Actually, so Kevin and I were commenting on that. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Um, it's not like a southern accent, like you know, like Texas or anything. It's like an old South accent. Yeah. Like a, yeah. This is gonna sure. like a plantation yeah. owner. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Come from money. <laughs> yes, basically, like uh, like um, Leo DiCaprio and Django Unchained, yeah. and that's like my favorite. Like, I don't like where it comes from, but that's like my favorite accent. In, of American accent. I don't like the background behind it that it's a rich white man profiting off of slave labor, but it's a pretty accent. So I, I, I so uh, for those who haven't seen it, which is probably but some of the, uh, the the VIPs were golden masks, and one of my notes here is like, how the fuck does Antler guy see out of his mask? He because doesn't. his eyeballs, his eye, the eye holes are like here <laughs> on the side of his head. Yeah, he he doesn't. Well, see that that's why he wears the mask, Steve, because his face actually looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Michael! And then they're using, like, opera glasses. And they're, then they're using, like, opera glasses later. I was like, that, that, was, that, no, that the, also wouldn't work. The, the, <laughs> uh, no, the opera glasses weren't being used by by Stag. They were being used by well, Tiger so either, and Either way, the mask lion. holes are going to make it very difficult to bear. use binoculars of any kind. Also, I just... Oh, sorry. I was going to transition, so if you had something else to say, go ahead. I don't know. No, I'm... I really like. So I'm just gonna uh, talk about the mask for a second. I just really liked how the bottom half of their jaw were always shown, and then I did like. Um, this is just a quick thing. When the British, uh, when Can the go boom. When the yeah. What did he say? Hmm. When the British guy. Oh what? fuck you, Kevin. He's quoting Hamilton. There was um. There was a guy that said something, and I think it was British, and then the. I think Lion was like, I, w I liked it better when you didn't talk. And that was like the only line that one guy said. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot what it was. Yeah. But yeah. It, I don't know. He was like saying something. He was saying something smart or something like that. I don't know. There were also mostly naked body painted people. Yeah. Um, Kevin called that. What did you call that, babe? Uh, I believe it's a kink called human furniture. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. I was yeah. unsure if those were statues or not. But, nope, so they those were people. They were, they were moving. Ti tiger. Well, when Tiger put his head back, those ti boobs kind of Yeah, <laughs> Tiger's headrests were boobs. <laughs> were, beautiful, also, I, were beautiful boobs. I just want to share this uh, this in-the-moment reaction that I uh, made sure to notate verbatim of when uh, I think it's Tiger takes Detective into the, the mm. VIP room. And I want to share our Nat and I's literal uh, what happened during that scene when he starts to lower his head down. So to quote, shoot him in the dick. Shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, put that away. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, 
convinced that they were he was actually going to go along with it for a second. I know, I was like, too. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Have you ever seen South South Park? There's a bit where where there's an undercover cop who's like posing as a prostitute to like bust like people, but like he only busts them after he goes through with it. <laughs> So, like, he has sex with them, and he's like, Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> uh, I just wanted to make a note of one little bit of a bit of my notes that I just uh, I just noticed was, uh, it was noticed? after, like, it was after uh, Andros or the front desk says, uh, like, oh, the, my, uh, uh, the host is indisposed or whatever, and my note is, is the host one of the players? Oh, oh. See, also, Kevin didn't, Kev- that early. Kevin didn't predict that. Well, uh, well, or we didn't uh, say it out Van- loud. Actually, Vanessa did it all the way in episode six uh, when when she noted. Um, my note there is uh, Vanessa 001 knows way too many of the games. My note is is he? Uh, my note under that is is he a plant? And I was mm. partially we were both we both were partially right, so we kind of called it. He is the only one that that kind of recognizes every single game, but that but they all do. They yeah, um, yeah I well say, I mean. They, they all recognize the games once they announce the game. The, the, the right, biggest but thing he's should very have, good at all of them, though, is what the, I'm saying. The biggest thing was that of all four whatever players that that we cared about that died in episode six, the only one who, who the only one whose corpse we didn't see because we saw was Ali the at the beginning man. of seven was true. Ali, I, was the we man. really should, which is also why I don't think the cop is gone for good. No, I think he's dead. No, he yeah, wasn't. Probably. No, because because Karen wasn't killed off screen. He wasn't killed yeah. off screen. He was just shot Speaking in the shoulder, of... which could be a through and through. Well, let's talk about the actual game too. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so that um, was... Karen came it's back. Not a child's game at all. No, and I was actually trying to calculate like the entire time. I was like, okay, this many people need to at least make one right guess, he and then everyone else behind fucking them gets talking to live. about it. And I was because like... I was figuring it out, and then, then that's what Song Wu and it was doing at the end. He was kind of like, uh, he was like, at least one more person needs to make a right guess, and then we can win. Yeah, See, Song Wu. Mm. Oh. No, you go because I, I have okay. words about Song Wu that's not relevant until the ending of the. We all have so many yeah, words about Song Wu. Not that. I will give my uh, I'll give my hot take on that after I say. See, this. yes, I'm, Harry, I'm, I'm cor- cor- I, I agree with Harry. He's not gonna die because yeah. he just was shot in the shoulder. He's gonna come back. So and on the one, two. so on the one hand, I am a little. It's a little weird that they just completely departed from the children's game thing for this weird yeah. bridge. Kevin, thing. like, so but when? I, sorry, go ahead. But on the other hand, I like the thematic element of it, where it's like they've co- the game people are constantly going on about how it's like, oh, everything is fair for you, everything is fair in this, and this is just totally breaks the facade of no, it's not fair. The people who go first get fucked, and then the people who go back. last yeah. reap all the rewards from it. So it's not fair at all. And so it just completely breaks that idea and shows how phony this system they're setting up is. I think I, I think I have a note somewhere in here that uh, the main character has hella plot armor. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah he, of he really does. I mean, he but, does, but like, I mean, I, yeah, I get he's the main character, but like... <clears throat> I don't know. It just feels. I thought it was fine, but it it yes. was it was fine. But uh, the but to go back to Karen though, I loved I love that moment so much that because I love her so much. Although oh, the one her. thing that I really wish in the game is that for the people that was pushed, I was really hoping at least one of them would land on the correct tile. Yeah, that'd um, be funny. Because <laughs> can you imagine like the Karen thing? She's trying to do this dramatic shit, and she just falls on the correct. <laughs> but uh speaking of characters uh i don't think this is a a hot take for me but it is a why would you say take is um i think sung woo is the best written character in this show i'd agree, agree with that not yeah me, man. He, not, he's definitely not... the character that most of us like he's Absolutely. not we have... necessarily like a bad guy he, he's playing the game kind of thing he's he just being an, he's being a dick about it yeah, he is an antagonist not he, a villain he gives he's us a great the, character but gives i us fucking most, hate him he, exactly he gives us the most feeling out of any of the characters exactly. well and he definitely had the besides maybe growth. assassin chick and i real and it screaming. like totally makes sense oh with like, his character. like this is a guy who like went into massive debt on really shady stock kind of stuff 
So, like, he's already someone who's not morally good in the first place. So, he is someone who is going to take every opportunity to just get ahead however he can. He, he might also Danny be has the, so much to say. He might also be the one with the most She also debt. watched all of Squid Game with judging, us. Judging on what I know he's of the stock market, he, he, he might have the most debt out of everyone. So, he might be the most desperate. Yeah, I think when we did the conversions back in episode, like, one or two, I think he was, like, several million dollars in debt. Yeah, 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 he was very much in debt. I think main character's final takeaway, shocker, he wins. Spoilers. Um, we haven't gotten was, there yet. Uh, yeah, we're not there yet, my dude. <clears throat> okay, fine. But, uh, we're still in episode but, seven. Yeah, but yeah. I, hey, I I've been wanna, yelled at too, Steve. So I just want to uh, call out really quickly, the death of the highly religious guy was a lot more amusing than that really should have been. Like, um, I laughed the, way too hard. Although How did he I, die again? Remind me. He he just was the guy behind and he just got fucking and the pushed. Guy, the guy behind him got annoyed and was like fucking go. It, it just a no name guy behind him just jumped yeah, up and pushed and him. It was it was guy I, it was lucky number seven guy. Yeah, although out of curiosity, I looked Fuck it up. Off, uh, Harry. So in terms of the religious breakdown of South Korea, majority of the country is non religious, while the remaining half is roughly about equally parts Buddhist and Christian. So oh, interesting. Yeah. That's actually kind of interesting because we actually, I don't remember what, we were out at a sushi restaurant for our, uh, me and Vanessa's uh, four year anniversary uh, on, uh, on Sunday. Um, what but we, what? A what restaurant? A uh, sushi restaurant. Um, okay, that's Japanese, but go on. No, no, I know. I know. We were, well, no, no, no. Like, um, we were, um, for whatever reason, we were Googling, like, the re religious, um, uh, demographics of uh of japan and it's like most because i was just because there's a big picture of buddha on the wall so like, i don't really think of buddhism when i when i think of japan but turns oh, out the vast majority of the country is buddhist and like one fucking percent is christian just well, it's you. mostly shin most of japan is shinto and then right. buddhism is like a supplement to it right but have you not seen course, history of japan Oh but yeah, in, great. But in, but in South Korea, there is a much more sizable Christian population than in Japan, but it's still not the majority. Mm, okay. Yeah. Also, um, uh, Harry, Harry, what if the guy who worked with the glass actually one and that was our true manager? Although I will say the Marvel <laughs> did uh, land on the correct tile, and just from a just a sole episode seven perspective, it was like, oh, it's all like the old man is still guiding him. Yeah, I got I got a note there. It says "old man coming in clutch for them one last time," and then underneath that, maybe. <laughs> but again, I, I don't blame Song Wu for what he did. I mean, they were pretty much out of time, so no. like they were out of time. If he did not yeah. have done that, Ji Hun would have died. Yeah, he had he had oh, there, one yeah. second someone's left. Been pushed. Yeah, it was pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, he looked at the clock, he said, you have to go, also, and the glassmaker was not going to go, so he did we pushed. Did we talk about Snake Face Guy? Hmm? Or are we just going yeah, to gloss? Are we just going to gloss over the fact that Karen fucking suicide with him? I know, it was so great! I, I, I was about to say, you, but I was like, man, you should be ter terrified of her, she's got that, she, she's fucking she's crazy the, and she's she got, got that the, crazy lady strength she got those crazy but, uh, eyes and you stuck she, it in crazy yeah she got the crazy you eyes stick your dick in crazy <laughs> but uh Sorry, going back Kevin, to what we were saying no, earlier um, so, um, stuck your i dick like in crazy. i i really like uh song was like come back to gi -hoon. he's like you should that wasn't right you killed him he's like and it almost like he kind of plays with like the almost like a fake privilege kind of thing is like you were in the fucking back you had to do nothing except mm -hmm. let us do the work yeah true yeah i mean really so ji hon just had to sit there until ever yeah. i mean the, the only threat he was in was running out of time yeah pretty much i don't want to know their sex scene harry go away <laughs> uh, we saw it <laughs> no yeah, probably we... this is probably with like full frontal and actual well, okay bye no i think i think they're just referring to the sexy that was in the show it. though why yeah. someone would post that on pornhub because no it I, was I it's you it's that. you porn not porn hub yeah you gotta be verified on oh, pornhub you know, it's you okay porn. fine it's fair enough <laughs> also i just want to call out one very specific point of the episode is that there's a part where like uh Andros is uh, finds the bullet and is like, "Oh, Andros. this was fired from a police gun." And I put a note while the aspect of knowing what 
gun fired a bullet based on the bullet is not unrealistic by any means. Ballistic markings are very real and like how half the Ace Attorney cases get solved. Um, <laughs> and, and I put, uh, what is interesting is how Andros knows the ballistic markings of a police gun. That was the, that was the, that was the first clue. So do we, do we want to just talk about that plot line across? Sure, the let's go for it. Yeah. That's, 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 I mean, yeah. We're kind of bleeding into his name. Is, his name is. I mean, we're hey, already at the end of episode I re- seven. I we remember well. names. His name is Inho, I N H O. Uh, which one? Sorry, the brother or the cop? Brother. The brother. The brother is Inho. Okay, Andros. Yeah. Brother. Andros is Inho. Andros. I don't know the cop's <laughs> name. <laughs> I don't remember cop's detective's no. name. I don't even know if he got a name. I think it was I no. It was something. No, it was something. because when they when they found the body washed up on shore with the police um, badge that he planted on it, they said his name, and then the and then Inho or Andros was like, "Ah, oh, incinerate the body, leave no trace," and blah blah blah. No, yeah. that was it. Was sad, like. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Sick. Oh, it was Ju- Jun Ho is the police officer. Jun Ho, okay. Um, I don't. Yeah, no. I think Harry and I are on the same page where he didn't die fully on screen, and a bullet to the shoulder is not necessarily deadly. Yeah. And, it, and it and it was clearly in the shoulder, not in the chest. Yeah. So. The show has been very explicit about kill shots. Yeah. Can, I, can oh, we? Yeah. Are we doing? Are we kill waiting till theories to the end then? What? Are we waiting for theories till the end then? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, I'll, we'll, yeah, we'll just off dump our theories all at the end. Yeah. Yeah. I, and then I put uh, for episode eight, I'm like, ah, that's how I knew the ballistic markings because Andros is detective's brother. And then I put uh, also interesting that showing of guilt there at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where, Which where, also. He's like, like, come with me and you won't get hurt. And he's like, what does that mean? Yeah. Who are you? But I'll. It also like makes sense as to like the the scene in episode seven where he sees him at the bottom of the ladder and he doesn't just like immediately like haul ass after like there's a little yeah, bit he of just, hesitation well, with Ian Hall. For that one I was I was assuming he was gonna send his cronies after him, which he didn't mm-hmm. do. So I was also like, Oh, okay. But um it, yeah. But when um Jihan first went to In Inho's house, like it to me it looked like a college student's like, yeah, it, looked like it looked like a college student's room, not like a dorm room, not like an adult's room. So, so we, de- so he won the games back in whatever 2015. Uh, 2015. Then he couldn't deal. I guess he couldn't deal with the outside world, kind of much like Song Wu or I'm sorry, uh, Ji Han at the end there. Um, and I guess he went back in and just said, oh, I guess I'll run this shit now. And so I'm guessing there's probably some downtime in between the games. So he probably has time to swing by his apartment and see his family or whatever. But like, you know, cause I, I don't think they're constantly going, but, um, or as I wager, they wouldn't be constantly going. Uh, something else I kind of noted was, um, <laughs> oh, with, the, with the, um, the VIPs. They were kind of talking. The VIP, I, I I don't remember what I was going to say, but basically, like the VIP, do you think they have different VIPs each game, or they, or is it kind of the same ones? Because they seemed roughly familiar with it, but like I, I think there was some instance where they had to like tell them about something. It's like, shouldn't you know that already? I don't remember what it was exactly. I think the way they were talking, it definitely sounds like they've done it before. So I think it's just like a group of like rich people friends also discuss yeah. i think which was kind of discussed in the last in episode nine so yeah with the old man it's pretty much confirmed yeah also uh uh do was impaled she was impaled poor girl yes and, and yeah. so so it's like at, as the explosion happened like right afterwards like it showed song woo and that's what jihan and then it showed her and then and she kind of like looked down at herself and then looked back up and but then the camera didn't pan, pan down and immediately yeah, I was like she got impaled. Yeah, <laughs> and then I, five I minutes really, later, I really, I really feel like your bridge shouldn't shower your contestants with shrapnel after your after it explodes. Well, it, it was intentional. Have, well, it wouldn't have showered them with shrapnel if they got across with more time. That true. That is true. But also, I. How do we feel about just 
killing sixty-seven off. Well, well, well I turn well, I turned a four-letter word into about ten letters. So, <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> that guy. Fuck <laughs> him and him and him. And, and that fancy dinner only seemed to serve them, giving them steak knives so that they can get. I mean, in all fairness, that fa- that dinner did look very tasty, though. But I was I, wondering, I was wondering if they knew something was up with her. Which is why they did that and upsupplied the knives. Maybe I mean mm, they, I they are was, they, think... they can monitor them, so yeah. I I would assume that they would know. I mean, we like Kevin and I immediately when she left, she start like when she left after the after the I call it glass hopscotch. When she left after the glass hopscotch, she was still she was clutching her side, and then once they moved her, when they're like, "Hey, change into this," Kevin's like, "Oh, she got impaled." I think no, I said that the, before that. Well, yeah, yeah, but then like, and then we confirmed it. You're like, oh yeah, she definitely got impaled. Mm-hmm. I think the night. I think they just wanted to set up a one-on-one for the final, and that's yeah, guys were for. And so of course, just... it's going to be between the two childhood friends. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, what's uh, and but I just want to one more quick thing. Uh, uh, just mm-hmm. two quick things that I want to mention because they were very good. Um, just the, the fly me to the moon circles back, um, mm-hmm. and the, the, uh, the way it ends, the I love you, it, it could ref- it, uh, referring to multiple people in this episode, and I love that little touch. I'm like, that, that's applicable to many people. And also, that fantastic exchange of when Song was like, yeah, you're, you're a dumb, dumbass, and, uh, Jihad <laughs> essentially being like, uh, yeah, I'm a dumbass, but you're here too. Yeah. Uh, why, why are you here? I lo- I really like that scene because it's like I love that. Um, like throughout the whole series, like Ji Hoon was like, "Oh, it's the it's the SNU boy. He's gonna get us through this. Oh, you're from SNU. You know all of this." And then in this scene, he's like, "You went to SNU. How did you end up here?" Big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah he, he's so like good. he's like I'm not. I I'm slow and I'm not educated. So I just des- mm-hmm. I. I should be here. I should be here. What's your excuse? You were supposed to be the greatest person to come out of our neighborhood. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. And then Song Wu's like, <sighs> I think my one note, my the one note there. I I, just, I mean I have multiple notes, but I think the one that I keep going back to is, what's up with the aggressive eating? <laughs> well, they were trying to. I think. Well, Kevin was you're saying. The race. Well, because I I mentioned that too. I was like, why are they so angrily eating? He's like, I think they're just hungry. I'm like, ah. yeah, that's also mm-hmm. like the only full meal they've had yeah kevin was saying yeah yeah, you because they had hard-boiled eggs the last meal they ate was a potato a raw potato it looked like a raw potato it was a raw potato yeah and it was like a wait but it was also like weirdly juicy because face uh uh, snake face man had like dribble coming out of something maybe it was like a potatoes are messy or something i don't know but anything but mashed potatoes (laughs) that's a lie but i i like my potatoes a certain way so I would I, not eat I that. I generally don't enjoy baked potatoes oh, personally. Uh, potatoes sorry, the, the potatoes. Sorry. The potato scene is reminding me of what happened to the man who lost his wife. Oh, oh yeah. When I unintentionally that. We, we I know, but like. And he's like, he's like, guys, we could fucking end it, and they're like, mm, we're not gonna. Oh. Uh, I don't. Th- I don't think. Right. I don't think it was a pear. It did not look like a pear. Definitely not a pear. It was a potato because potatoes like are potato rich in nutrients, mean. which is why uh, Matt potatoes Damon grew nutrients. a bunch of them on Mars. <laughs> but, uh, Matt yeah, Damon did grow a bunch of them on Mars. Yeah, Matt Damon, Damon and his potatoes. Matt yeah, the Damon. Thing, it's so. Well, like, cause that, cause like, that the that sorry. they uh, yeah. th- all basically the end of his arc was like. Uh, just a punchline for the VIPs. Where it's like, no, I bet on you. God damn it! It's like <laughs> this horribly tragic thing that this guy's going through. Yeah, and it's just yep. a bunch of rich people let getting pissed yeah. off at him. One percent. Well, and then like, um, eat the rich. Sorry, my brain went bye bye. Oh, oh, fair enough. I'm done with that for a second. <laughs> It'll come back when when I'm being interrupted again. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, big, oh, no. Wow. oh no! No, no, it's it's not on any of you. Like literally, my brain will be like, "We need to say this right now." Oh shit, people are talking. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, 
Um, no, I'm trying. I got nothing for. I got nothing else oh, for eight. Oh, I remember. Oh. Um, Yay. so Song Wu was like to Jihan, like, you just paired up with an old man because you were like, because you felt sorry for him. That man lost his wife. Like, stop feeling sorry for yourself to him. And I was like, I, yeah. I get that. But also like, why are you such a dick? No, no, no trauma comparisons. No, yeah. Right? Uh, no trauma dick measuring. Like, I was close to the old man and also the old man. I love well, him. But- we my can move first... on to episode nine if we, since we're on the yeah, because topic. good brain always knows when to fall. My my first note for episode nine is shockingly to no one. The final game is the Squid Game. Yeah, <laughs> which is well, way no. simpler than they explained it in the first. Episode. Yeah, the first I know. Episode well, okay, like, okay, what? but to be fair, the first episode were not two grown men trying to kill each other. They were just yeah. kids trying See, to play a game. I think... <laughs> Here's my thing. I think the game is way more complicated. They just decided to beat the shit well, out no, of each other instead of playing that the was, game. <laughs> that was, no, that was the rules. And actually, Kevin kept saying that. He's like, play the game! Just go to the top of the squid! And then you could win! Well, because, I mean, like, so so the entire game yeah. boils down to this. Phase one is the attacker has to cross the squid, like, like the, sideways, like, like left yeah. to right. He has, he has to on cross... On one foot. Yeah. Which, I'm assuming it's a lot harder to do when you don't throw sand in the guy's face. Like, 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 like if, he, if, he, if he hadn't have done that, the game probably would have taken a lot longer. Well, that's um, why, and that's why I think they did the rain was because so he couldn't do that again. Well, that that was that was just regular rain. That was regular but rain. Rain always it's, knows when to fall. It's mm-hmm. an outdoor arena. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, it's or, or at not, least the, not, the, the top the, t- the top of the arena is open. That was okay. that wasn't man made. Okay. Also, I think didn't it's not in, the, in the first episode. Wasn't there like. A bunch of people playing the squid game. Yeah, that's what I was trying yeah. to yeah. determine. I think yeah. the last one. It was like it was a three on three. Uh, it was so three on three. Which, Either which three is on why, three or four on four, or something like which that. Which probably vegan sides. Yeah. I have a note on episode seven, which is which is uh, my last note. On episode seven says, "Doesn't Squid Game need six players?" So here's no, the other. Well, oh, sorry, Kevin. I think Kevin what? is about to say. I think it just needs even players. It just needs even players. Yeah, but yeah, that need, makes sense. Because yeah. because all the archives in the room are called the Squid Archives, do you think every game, no matter what, ends with Squid Game? Yeah, yeah probably. probably. I, I think so. Yeah. I wonder if it always ends like that. Oh, no. You know, to be it honest, always ends with Squid Game. To be honest, I think they play the same games every time. I mean, no, um, they didn't though, because the VIPs no, didn't they, know what was next. Well, they, yeah, they that right. doesn't necessarily mean that they're the same VIPs. I, I it was kind of implied that they've done this before. Yeah. It may mix it up. I mean, I, I'm get- going this for twenty plus years. I'm sure there's at least some there's a there's the a way. season so, two. Um, so I I still need to watch the video know. club, but we could. We don't know if there's there, if, season two has not been confirmed. By the way, if it yes, comes it out, no, it has not. No, it hasn't. He said that he wants to work on it, oh, but okay. it has not officially so been confirmed. The actual absolutely going to make it because this made a shit ton of his money. His actual. Yeah. So, <laughs> And then right. I was, I was talking Sorry, about this later, but so the entire series is made, made, written, and directed by one guy. Yeah. Right. And so he pretty much almost killed himself, not not like mm-hmm. killed himself, but like worked well, no, himself he, to death making yeah. this. Yeah. Um, and because most Netflix shows are like written and directed by different people each episode or a couple episodes. Um, but then, so the whole thing was he didn't, ha- he didn't intend on it being like a series, but now that he's seen how much traction it has, he's kind of like, okay, I can do this. But his one stipulation is he needs a team this time. Well, right. and also, the fucking goddamn cliffhanger he left. Well, hold on, we're not there yet. But I'm just yeah. saying, uh, so he needs uh, r- 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 an, he needs another season. I, I, I had I had a I had a I had a thought that possibly the, I would wager that the first two games are the same, or I'm sorry, the first game and the last game are the same every time. So it's always the first Light game and it, always Squid Game. Yeah, because uh, uh, I think the first game is kind of the culling, where they kind of basically yeah. wipe out half the players, get it down to like a manageable number, um, uh, and uh, having a high tech drone like that, having a high tech little girl drone seems like an awful waste of money when for one yeah, game, you yeah. Yeah. For one instance. I, I you don't know. think money is an object here. I, I, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, They're she did liter- show they up literally have in, like in the background. They did play on her field, well, yeah, which is also my which all which also brings me to my next note, which is same arena as the first game, bringing the whole show full circle. Yeah, because she was there. Yeah, she was there. She was watching. Yeah. 
Like, well, well she wasn't right. watching, but I well, think it was just the symbol. Her head was. Her head was I, I, yeah. I think it was the symbolism of, of them of them coming full circle back to where the game started. Oh yeah. Also, so, I, was it? No, I was just gonna say on the actual execution of the game itself. I was a little disappointed that most of it was just a punch up between two guys. Yeah, yeah. the last game was a little disappointing. Yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah, like I, I mean... was hoping it would be like fifty percent pocket sand strategy <laughs> stuff, and then fifty percent punch up. But like, no. it's just, he throws the sand, and then it's just them beating the shit out of each other. I, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have like maybe five notes on like the first like fifteen minutes of of the of the show, and I literally have pocket sand, and then the next bullet point is miscellaneous fighting ensues. Although I will say the I really love the shot where he's stabbed through the hand. Yeah. And yeah. he's it's trying to stop on the his blade face, and yeah. it's dripping on his face. I love that. So creepy. Oh, yeah. Um no, I love gore. That's weird. Um which is why I'm concerned. No, it okay, it helps me in surgery with animals, okay? I'm not squeamish or anything like that. That's fair, but yeah, yeah okay. Although I'm not ever going to watch any of my pets go under the knife. No, no thank you. Me take That's day fair. off. That's, That's literally <laughs> what I did for Soko last week. I'm like, me take day off. I know you have people calling off. I'm not coming in. Goodbye. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we get this big old punch up and then the the guilt finally hits Song Wu after yeah. Ji Hoon tries to spare him and then he just offs himself. Yeah, so. it's like, ah, I see, um, because Matt and I were discussing after, uh, once Song Wu started to become less and less daddy, we mm. kind of, we're nowhere mm. like, okay, he's Stop. either gonna do, uh, when did, uh, sorry, oh yeah, you, you keep going and then I have a question for you. Uh, is he's going to either die brutally and horribly, or he's gonna do a valiant self-sacrifice sort of death, so I'm like, ah, As I we want the self-sacrifice. When did- As it turns out, it was both. <laughs> yeah. He pushed out. Good. He pushed out like a bitch. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Monica. Oh, when Vanessa. Did... Actually, yeah. sorry, Steven, uh, Vanessa. Steve. Oh. Eh? I... No. Yeah. What's your question? Anyways, um, here. when did when did Sang Woo stop being daddy for you? Because Kevin and I have the exact moment. Well, I'm trying mm-hmm. to think. I'm uh, trying to think if it was before Ali or not. It, not for sure. Kevin and I, it was Ali. when he fucking Ali. screwed Ali. Oh, yeah. Ali. Uh, it started Ali. around um, <laughs> when he was starting to be, like, weirdly no. sexist. And it's oh, okay. like, and, and it started, I'm like, you're becoming a little less daddy. And then once okay. he killed Ali, I'm like, you're done. You're, you you can gone. even pull it. You can even pull it all the way back to when he totally re- recognized the honeycomb game and he didn't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, yeah, I think yeah. that that for me, like you guys, like I think you guys were still like, yeah, he's kind of good. I'm like, mm, no, I don't like him. Mm, no, I want to kill yeah. him. But yeah, he um, bust out like a bitch, but also, <laughs> so be- like before before he slit the poor girl's throat, Kevin and I were like. Do we think what do we think she's gonna even make it to the next game? And we and both of us, yeah, we thought we thought she would. Um, and then we're like, she's probably gonna sacrifice herself for him. And then it turns out the little bitch man decided to murder. No, her. this ain't Hunger Games. Only one winner. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, no, I kind of fear there would only be one. No, winner. yeah, like and before she got fucking impaled in the gut and had an abdomen had a fucking abdomen bleed. I was like, yeah, I think I think that Jihan or Gihan's gonna sacrifice himself for her, you know, like, because you know that seemed the exact area that he was, and Songwu kind of saw that too, um, which is why he mercy killed. I mean, yes, a little less painful than bleeding out, Finisher. but also she was already almost dead. Yeah, I was about to say, just let it, uh, she'd be dead by morning, but dude, just Like, e- even when he was calling for them, is like, she was dead, like. Yeah. Uh, she was Vanessa dead. Vanessa actually called the two best, uh, the, you know, the, the, uh, the two childhood friends, and even called, um, even called Sang Woo, uh, sounds sacrificing like, himself Sounds like for... Vanessa and Kevin need to watch movies together, because they're pretty fucking good at predicting things. They are, I- I'm good at predicting cliche dialogue. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm not watching anything with the three of you. 
Because <laughs> I won't have a good time. I'm sorry. I'm I'm with Chris on this. I do not. I don't even try to predict anything. No, I like I, I like stuff, experiencing so. it. I don't like trying to figure out what the end is before it happens. Well, I'll I talk about my thoughts don't... about this in a minute. He likes it. Uh, I do, and, but and, there, there's something very specific I want to bring up. Okay. In a bit. I mean, you can bring it up now. I can't. We're not there yet. Yeah. But uh, to cap off what we were just talking about, I am a little. No, I'm very conflicted about just kind of killing her off before the final game. Yeah. Because it's like, obviously we need the showdown between Sungwoo and Gi-hung just to settle that score. But it still feels like her it's a character arc just got cut short. And yeah. she was yeah. not utilized to the best that she could have been. No, and he wasn't, isn't this Korean director supposed to be like super like all about women empowerment? He's a fairly progressive Director. Okay, I guess progressive. Yeah, which progressive so for Korea. But. Everyone I've talked to has said episode seven is the worst. I don't. Think I so. I would say episode eight is yeah, the worst. I agree. I, with Kevin. Gonna, I kind of agree. I I, I got. I I don't know. I, I, I didn't even, like. I didn't mind episode seven. Like oh, that was. It was, episode seven was it, fine. it was an interesting game. It was good meeting the good meeting the VIPs, seeing that they're just giant douchebags. You know, <laughs> big surprise there. <laughs> I would say either episode eight or ha- episode nine would no, be the worst. No, I, I I liked episode nine mostly for I the. Fact- say I liked nine. Okay, I'm kind of I, I'm kind of with Kevin Mike was, on that one. Well, Speaking of, <laughs> yes, let's move on to episode nine. I did it like episode nine is not my least favorite, mostly because I like the fact that he did not touch the money. Yeah, like yeah, he left it. Yeah, like he's like yeah, this is my prize, but. Fuck me for like fuck you and fuck me for winning this. I don't want massive that. survivor skill. Like yeah, Blood I mean money. no, actually, Blood money. literally, what I said to Kevin after like after she uh, Song Wu killed himself, I was like, uh, this is gonna require years of therapy. <laughs> Try yeah. It, yeah. Also, the fact that he literally got home and his mom was dead. So I know. The, one, of, one of the reasons that. He was he he went back. He was gonna make her null and void. He was gonna build her a fucking shop. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, she had advanced diabetes that was being untreated. Yeah. Uh, you can't. She's you, stubborn. Well, no, they don't. Ha- they stubborn ha- and poor. They didn't have yeah. money. She couldn't stay in the hospital because she couldn't afford it. Yeah. I I love in the next scene pretty much that like it's it's it fast forwards to a year later. One and, year, <clears throat> and then he's salon. being summoned by his bank, like, "Hey, we need to talk to you." And they're just kind of like, "Oh, yes, yes, come in. You're you're important VIP. Um, why have you even touched your money?" And he was kind of like, <laughs> "Am I supposed to like touch it? Like, okay, oh, can oh, I also no. borrow ten thousand won?" And the guy's yeah. like, "Uh, yeah, sure, of course." Because <laughs> that's like eighty bucks. Because rich people get what they want. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it, it's just the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. It's the whole like, if you have money and you ask for money, no one's gonna ask you like why. Or like, are you gonna pay me back? Yeah. They're just gonna assume oh, good he's good for it. He'll pay me back. Well, no. So the I think the exact phrase was is like, we haven't heard from you. Like, yeah, yeah. And am, then he's am, like, am I supposed to? Talk was I to supposed you? to say something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, ten thousand won. Just for the record, is like eight dollars. So I thought, I thought it was eighty. 80. It's eighty. No, it's, it's eighty-six dollars. No, eight and a half dollars. Oh, is it? Ten thousand won is eighty-six dollars. Inflation no, is hella high Kevin, over in Korea. I'm <laughs> Kevin, I'm literally on the converter right now. It's eight and a half dollars. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, because yeah. I, mean, I must have typed in an extra zero. Yeah, Sorry. probably. <laughs> Kevin, 34 billion won. Well, yeah. However many billion won that is, it like only only like translates to One like 30-some 30 some, 30 some million in American. Oh, yeah, only 34 million. Okay, well, okay. Converting billion into million is a pretty big fucking Listen. Jump. Listen, in any case, it's basically if you okay, have, have, it's, it's, anyway, it's, conversions don't basically matter. Basically, hey, do you got 10 bucks? And the guy's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like he, he asked for a tenner, basically. To, yeah. to put it in retrospect, though, if you have $20 million US, you don't need to work a, another minute in your life. Right. Because yeah. you can put it oh, in a hey, very um, low risk where's our lottery interest ticket? form or whatever. <laughs> you can pretty much live off the interest for the rest of your life. That's all you need. $20 million. That's That's the minimum you need to never work again. Honestly, yeah. I think I'd still go to work anyway. I'd get way too. No, I would not. I would <laughs> not. No, but I, I do like I, the, the I'm, sort of. I'm done. With, I, I'd be done. I'm yeah, done I'd with just, people. I love animals. I'd I. I want to live them. my life. I want to explore hobbies. I want to go see things. I'm done. Yeah, Kevin and yeah, I are on the I same do. page. If live we won life. the lottery, we would just be like, hey, bye. Yeah, I do Sorry, like work. the the aspect Sorry, though that. 
that the money didn't necessarily fix his problem and that he decided not to touch it. I mean, he only touched it, I think, in order to uh, give Song Wu's mom uh, the amount that was needed. Yeah. Well, that that was after. No, that's too. after. Yeah. That, that was, was when he got his bit. pretty haircut. Well, hold on, we're, <laughs> we're missing some things. I know, but so pretty haircut. after he talks to the bank, he goes and he pretty much no, never mind. After the whole bank thing, he gets a letter from a lady who's selling flowers. Yeah, because he on gives her he gives her ten thousand won, which right. is eight fifty. So to, to, to pay for some flowers and did, the flowers. Did anyone notice? What, did anyone notice what uh, soda he was drinking? I'm pretty. No. Sure I, thought, just, I thought it was beer. I, I I I'm pretty sure it's whatever they serve them in the arena. Oh well, I thought it was, oh. I thought it was beer to be honest. The only it reason could just be a name brand in Korea. Well, it could, yeah. but I I don't think that was an accident though. They had the like the the bottles mm. were specifically green that they served them in the in the you know because they used the bottles. To, to be honest, I th of, I think the lot of, I think the I'm more sorry. important thing of that scene is the fact that the card was black with a pink bow. Yeah. Also, and, a, a lot of glass soda containers are in green. Asia are green. You're a glass soda container. <laughs> he <Hell> wishes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Mike, you should have anyway, been a, anyways, Mike, you should have been a glass soda in, container for let me, let, So he gets a letter or a little card, same card from the Squid Game, where it pretty much tells him like, meet me here from your Ganbu. And immediately I was like Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, we both were, Well, <laughs> we didn't say it to each other, but like... the controversial part of this here. Yes, we, and then so, old we were, man's alive. He's really the mastermind puppeteer behind it all. Um, he uh, he the turns The front out, man, sir? No. No, front no, man's he, different. He, yeah, he's the host. He's yeah. the host. Turns yeah. out he's he funny. was the... He was the head of a big investment firm, and pretty much all of his clients got bored one day, and so they all got together and decided, let's make poor people kill each other for our entertainment. Yeah, the, and that's the how old, the game was born. Yeah, I didn't like that. Uh, I I mean, it was set up decently because one of the things I what when um they kind of had the the riot scene. Uh, I have no. Yeah. That they they because it was set up decently because one of the things I noticed when they the riot scene is that they he kind of put a, the Andros put a kibosh on it. Uh, once the old man was gonna seem like he was ah, gonna jump. Ah. <laughs> yeah, it's like we have that. We have he's the one who came up with the strategy for the tug of war. Yeah, yeah. It's like supposedly he I was don't not. Know this, he was not I, killed I, on screen. No. I, now I don't know if this is true or not, but supposedly someone went back to episode one, and supposedly he doesn't have a sensor on him during the red light, green light. Mm. A sensor. Like, oh, like you know, he doesn't sensor. have a red outline. Oh, interesting. Mm, He's okay. been programmed um, not to shoot. Okay. So I actually had a couple, a couple of notes on this because he, if he had fucked up at all, he would have been dead. Well, okay. I there's don't a think, couple. No. There well, there's, okay. There was, a, there was a, there was a, there's one there wasn't. He could have totally died at tug of war. Yeah. Like well, that I mean, was, that's also part of what he's saying. In yeah, scene, yeah, where he literally is a said a little thrill to it. Well, he's the, like the cook. Well, where the he cookie, literally. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just say the cookie could have been hard, uh, hard to fake. Uh, red light, green light, uh, just like Mike just brought up, was likely rigged in his favor. Um, and my other note was like, like what Monica said uh, was that because uh, I was thinking back on this like just at work today, I was like, oh shit, the riot! It, it kind of stopped once he once he was up on the beds, didn't it? So he, I, unintentionally or not, basically called in the uh, called in the troops, uh, Kevin. The only thing that I would say is that I for tug of war, teacher. is for tug of war is that be, because they had the Gatling thing. Before he himself, the old man, would have gone over, they could have dropped the thing. Yeah. And just cut off anyone in front of him. Yeah. I guess. No, I mean, I that's mean, the only thing I got against that. Yeah, and they could have just said, like, all oh, the technical difficulty. Whoops. Yeah, you know, yeah. it just happens. Te you know, so, uh, <laughs> you know how well, achievement awards have technical. I, I, have I don't know. In any, we all have thoughts. In any case, my. I like this idea in theory, this idea that the rich guy got so. Fed up with being Bored, rich that he yeah. just decided to participate. My problem with it, I think they humanize that idea too much. What I you... think they make it too much of a relatable experience, even though it's still a 
gruesomely awful thing that this guy is orchestrating. Like they're tr- like they're uh, obviously he's he is the one saying all of this, so obviously it it's his big villain speech basically. Yeah. So we're not totally meant to take it as like gospel, but mm-hmm. it's not I don't think it was sufficiently rebuttaled. No, no. We, I, yeah. No. To me my big problem was it was was it kind of felt like oh, we need to show the mastermind and it can't be a random character, so here we go. Uh, because it, I felt like it was liter- very yeah. out of nowhere. I feel like what it needed, because they had that reveal of him, the bunny mask, uh, was like, there should have been a scene in episode one where he was in the bunny mask and talking to Andros and yeah. saying, hey, I'll be indisposed. And then when it cuts back to that in episode nine, where he taking off the bunny mask i feel like that would have been a better yeah set up connection yeah. there uh uh in order to either that or just choose a random person i honestly I... to be honest i might have been f- more fine with a random person orchestrating the whole thing than him with the way they presented it throughout the whole scene I just, there wasn't i'm fine with it honestly i did see someone else bring up an interesting point is like he d- he is constantly forgetting his name until the very end yeah and i noticed a lot of the s- scenes where he forgets his name or where he's around other people specifically song Wu, who oh we being totally a, know who he was being a guy who trades stocks would probably recognize his name if he said it. Ooh, yeah. Uh, that is, uh, that is and but with, with that, with that, with that scene rewinding a couple a minute, uh, was my note was because uh, the, the, the old man says something along the lines of "living is no fun for both the poor and the rich." And I and my note, my comment on that is that if you don't see this as a criticism of capitalism, then I don't know what to fucking tell you, my dude. You were wa- we were watching two entirely different shows. Hey Ryan, how do you feel about this show? I like that. <laughs> God damn it, Ryan! Can I can, yeah. can I say can, can I say my bit? So no, is yeah, everyone good. done talking about the twist? I I just want yeah. to talk about one more thing. Is that. Personally, with the story that they presented, I don't think a, a reveal of the mastermind was entirely necessary. I don't think I think they do. Yeah, have to. like no, uh, I, with uh, what they presented because yeah, uh, with the way that Jihan handled the aftermath, I I don't think he necessarily. No, so get on the fucking plane and go to your daughter, Jihan. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. But yeah, I, I don't think he necessarily needed that that particular closure i think it would have worked just fine without it i was actually talking to my coworker about that scene we both agreed okay. with that could i yes go talk is yeah. everyone done talking about the twist ah my neck yeah. Yeah. Gonna yeah. Really okay and so I can't move here's now. my problem with the twist right so as everyone knows i love predicting things um oh so it, that's why he doesn't like it because he didn't fucking predict it hold on <laughs> hold on i am fine with being proven wrong I actually enjoy mm. being proven wrong. Uh, what I do not like, and this is the reason why I kind of have a gripe against the newest Sherlock Holmes movies, the, the Robert Downey Jr. ones, it's because the it. writer or the director intentionally hides information from the audience. There are things that are discovered in the show or things like that, like especially in Sherlock Holmes, where like Sherlock will see something or will taste something or will do something, where they won't tell the audience about it. And it happens all the time in the movie. And then at the end, suddenly it's this big reveal, like, oh, I knew this and this and this, and there's no way that you could play along. So the I whole... Cut, the whole it's for people like you that try to guess things. I know, I know, but the, the whole thing is, like, I'm fine with that big plot twist, but lead up to it somehow. I you know, little think, hints here and there would have been nice, worse. but just all I of a sudden... Mean, I- out of left field, boom. So if, when you go back and rewatch it, you're gonna see... I am yeah, super there were red. What the plenty fuck? of hints. They just weren't obvious hints. Like, I wouldn't even say there were the hints, though. We do- especially the fact that we don't see him die in episode six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the main I mean, thing. he's the only one in that scene who we don't see get shot. But yeah. take no. Take episode said- six. Only episode six. We don't see Ali die in episode six. I'm pretty sure. No, yeah, we do. We yeah, do we not do. see we Ali get see shot. Him- we don't see him get shot, but the first thing we see in episode seven is his body. Yes, yeah. and that's yes. the big thing, though. 
is that but because there's the episode gap that separates the episodes thematically or script wise well, so but we also separate. Saw, let him talk. Well, we also saw saw all at once on Netflix. Yeah. So. With, with Ali's death, like we also saw Song Wu react to it, so he was yeah. clearly watching Ali get shot in the face. Yeah. We didn't see Song Wu react. Yeah, we did. Song yeah, was already did. out yeah, the door. We did. No, no we, babe, we totally babe. saw him. He flinched. I remember it. He did not like seeing that, which makes him a yeah, little bit. Yeah, but there was also evil. a gunshot for Il Nam though, and Ji Hung flinched. No. No, yeah, because he was already walking away. Yeah, and so was Ji Hung. So was Song Woo. No, Song no, he, was, no, he, was he wasn't. He was Guys, watching. Song Woo literally handed the marbles hey, to the babe. guy at the door and walked through the door and flinched. Babe. He stopped and flinched. Do he you was not he walked near, the door. He did not know that was for Ali, though. How could he have known if he was on the other side of the map? So you're going to fight Ali with four around. people. Okay. Yeah, Ali was running around the fucking maze because Song Woo sent him on a rat chase and he left. He was literally leaving the arena. How the fuck could he have known that that gunshot Pretty sure specifically... they made eye contact at the end. He did not. Ali... Hold no, because Ali... Ali... No. Are you fucking... No, are you fucking listening? He ran back because he saw that his time was up. So he ran back. So okay. No, I, time was not up yet. Uh, hold on. I literally just rewatched the scene. I will relay exactly what All happened. Right. All right. Sang Sang Wu is walking away. We get a close up of Ali, and someone raises a gun behind him. Then it cuts back to Sang Wu. Kevin is right; he's already out of the scene, and we just see him. Yeah. So, I remember. You same don't need to be. You don't need to be that smug about I it. I know, but same Any, thing. Anyway, same anyway. exact thing happens for Nam though. Is Ji Hung's watching, walking away? The camera pans. Some of the building blocks the shot, yeah. and we hear a the lot gunshot. of but the, the entire building the blocks the shot. In episode seven of Ali dead. Yeah. Yes, so, but I, I'm saying that. Why are we finding semantics? He just is, came I back. Mean, in the course of us watching it, though, you know, in separating weeks, though, like you know, okay, that was a no little one unpredictable. Watched it like we did, though. Everyone I know. I binged I'm, it on Netflix. I'm saying yeah. from our perspective, Except my and boss, stuff like that. she's still on stuck on three. <laughs> oh, okay, we have to recognize we did not watch it the way it was. I know. To be watched. I know. Yeah. But my my whole point still stands that the little like crumbs and the people going back and like dissecting little itty bitty things like that's oh, what people do game. that's what people and, like, do yeah people yeah. probably went back to the sherlock holmes movies and they were like well obviously that was honey from the african rainforest because i'm pretty sure there was that's something in that thing, Kevin, though, Kevin because just it's doesn't fair like it's wrong. things that you can see on screen uh, in I know. Squid Game, but it's things that they're not, we're not also told, and I don't so, know. So, yeah, honey, the honey, show's not going to hold your hand. All it's the way not a, through, it's Kevin. not a book. It's not a narrative. I it's still, a show. I still don't. It's There's my, no my point is still valid. No, I don't like when things are kept from you. Life. Yeah, because you don't like to not have to predict things. You don't like not knowing I, shit. I, I yeah, think, you're right. I like hey, predicting shit. I like knowing all the details. Episode, and not Kevin's pet peeves. Uh, Il Nam dies right at midday, which I thought was cliche. As Merry fuck. Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the ambiguity of did he see the homeless guy get helped? Or yeah, not? It doesn't fucking matter. I, he died anyway. Honestly, yeah, but still, I do like that ambiguity. To me, I don't care. He died. That's all that mattered. And uh, immediately afterwards, our protagonist completes his transformation into an anime protagonist. And becomes a yeah, beautiful well, red-haired babe. I don't know what the fuck was I did I, I, think I the, the red was very... No, he just needed... He, he wanted... I think he wanted <laughs> his haircut, and then he saw the different things, and he was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. You know, I think you know, I've with seen the red someone, hair. Else, someone else suggested it's just, like, his way of... Releasing the past. Rebuking yeah. everything, because, like... It, while they were in the Squid Games, they all had the dress so like they all had to look, they all had to be equal, et cetera, et cetera. So this was red a, could represent blood. It, it could. Yeah, I, I mean, think it's just a sure. visual representation of him being different, attempting to stand out and take on the system. That I'm going with that. Yeah. I mean, red is also a, traditionally a symbol of power. Communism. And, so. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, at the same time, though, like he's not in power, though, so it can't be a symbol but, of power. No, it's power it, no of himself taking back control. I guess it's, it's definitely a leader. But also, color. I'm I'm going for more stand up because 99 percent of the people okay. in that game had black hair. Welcome to hey, all of Asia. Um, <laughs> remember that one blonde-haired guy that died like 
first episode? He died first. <laughs> he literally died first. I can run. No, you can't. <laughs> um, no, but also Jihan, just, just just go see your daughter. No, he he. Go uh, to your daughter. We did, we did forget something. He goes and adopts. Uh, ba- I think he Not adopts. Adop- um, I don't think he adopts. I think he no, just takes him. He, he like, takes him to and song and he gives him to uh, Song Wu's mom. Yeah, yeah. he he kind like of an adoptive yeah. mom. I don't know. I don't know how the adoption system work. How the adoption system works in Korea, but I mean, if you say, "Hey, I'm his sister's friend," maybe. I I think it. Was- I think he probably just waved some money around and was like, "Oh, here you go, have child." <laughs> yeah, like a whole year. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. yeah. He waved yeah, the I- money around like the money he gave Song Wu's mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I as just- she opened it, she's like. Also, I, the scene where he s- sees the new. Oh game. no! Whoa, and he see, and he sees. Oh, I thought he was gonna beat his slapper. Yeah. Which is, and then I, when the guy's just like I, was like, I was fully expecting him to just shove a wad of bills into his hand, like here, you don't need to play this, just go. Yeah, I, I mean, that would have been better. Also, than why him was that just guy just him? awkwardly standing there as Ski Hoon <laughs> approached well, I, him? I think because he was stunned because um, Slapper Man left him so abruptly because he saw Slapper Gihon. Slapper Man. And he knew that <laughs> Gihon was going to come get him. So Slapper Man I, was like, I, I gotta go. I, I think I just referred to him in my notes as recruiter. So I literally just yeah. just made up the word Slapper Man just now. So. I know. <laughs> yeah. I th- no, I, I've heard other people refer to him as Slapper Man. Now, oh, I okay. Slapper <laughs> Man. I like Slapper Man. No, I mean, so, he, he's ma- just... Maybe this is... Sorry, maybe this is just me as an American. I totally thought those were gunshots at first. <laughs> oh, yeah, no! No, I, I did, too! I they were slaps. I, I recognized them immediately He, he did, but I like I, I thought they were gunshots, too. I'm like, wait, are they bringing a squid game into the real world now? So who's running a <laughs> squid game now? Hmm? Uh, a- 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 it's still... It's, no, it's still gonna be Inho. <laughs> it's still gonna be Inho. He's got, he's still the front man. He oh, might. Is he now the host? He might be the host now. He might Who be knows? front man and host. Maybe it's the Texas Texas guy. <laughs> Texas guy. I need old men to die. He's not oh, dead. Yeah. I know he's Looks not like... dead. But... Um, no, he's a VIP. Um, he wouldn't want to be uh, a part of the nitty gritty bullshit. So he. So that so was it... Squid Game. Go ahead. Kevin wants to move on to the next topic because it's about an hour and thirteen minutes well, into this. Podcast. Well, hold on. Well, well we, we there's just a couple beats left. Uh, he he's trying uh, he's trying to head back to he, his initial intention is to head back to America to see his see daughter, his basically daughter. wave his new money, uh, wave his new money in no. uh, Stepdad's face. Not no. He's uh, trying to go back to America. Yeah. He's literally just trying well, to yeah. visit his daughter. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, the, Actually, so fair. can I? I'm just gonna jump in real quick, real quick. Um, I was uh, I came back from lunch, and my coworker also came back from lunch, and she was she mentioned she's like, I'm all into I don't it was like in passing Korean dramas. I'm like, did you finish Squid Game? She's like, yeah. I'm like, what did you think? She's like, why didn't he go back to his daughter? <laughs> and I was like, me too. He's on a crusade against capitalism. But his daughter's my- more important. My note, my note is time to burn some shit down? Question mark. <laughs> hey Mike, there's your Vietnam. Yeah. Although I did like how that that ended because it's still like even if uh, season two never comes to fruition, I don't feel blue balls by that um that cliffhanger. Yeah. It's like it's oh, yeah. It it feels complete enough where I'm like I can enjoy this, but it gives them just enough. Where jumping yeah, off like, to season two isn't awkward, or even like you know, there there, there could be fan fiction. And, you know, you just follow that trail of thought. A, I like the fan fictions. Anyway. Kevin, I'm ta- I'm taking my topic off the list for this week. I'll do it next week. No. Okay, he really wanted no! you to talk about it. I don't want Wait. to talk about. Oh, okay. okay. Never put, it mind. put it back. Put it back, Steve. Put it back. Damn it. <laughs> put it back, Steve. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that was Squid Game. It was really good. Oh, well, actually, I can't say it's really good. So just like always in the media club, a simple thumbs up. I don't do it right now. Hold on, thumbs up. I loved this. I will watch more of this if there's a season two. Middle thumb is this is okay. I'll watch it if more people want want it. Thumbs down is I did not like this. I will not watch anything like this again. So three, two, one, yeah. 
That is a six I thumbs think. up. That is the I first it, thumbs I'm up. Number six. Steve, you did. You did. Yo, this is the first all six thumbs up that we've had. I was gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah. It was good, but like I don't know what I'm at. I don't what blind manor. I, Some people had halfways. I'm pretty sure Monica had a thumbs down for blind manor. No, I had a thumbs up for blind manor. I oh, think... maybe it's Yuri on Ice. Someone no, had a thumbs it was down. Yuri on Ice. I uh, sideways we have, down. We haven't gotten any full thumbs no. down yet. No, basically, no. But we also haven't gotten any full thumbs up. I I don't know no, why. I mean, like, what I, what I meant was no one has actually given a thumbs down for anything. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but but episode eight just kind of left me unsatisfied and I, i'm not i can't put my finger no, on it like and it I, i'm not really sure why no or, just... no i'm sorry nine 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 nine, nine oh. the last episode nine 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 anyways i've been watching with lucagen what uh there's a so game called speaking of media anyway, club but sure. we are going I, I to did... have to you don't have to always do the fucking topics bitch okay it... whatever fine so go. speaking of oh go ahead okay. speaking of media club <laughs> We're gonna we're, be... take... we're, we're gonna pull a hunter hunter and go on hiatus. <laughs> for, yeah, for a little bit until we need after break. the new year. I wanna watch my own shows, damn it. <laughs> Not just that, but it's other other people and like other people's schedules and stuff like that. But mostly... it's because of the holidays. It's because of the holidays, people. It's holidays. Because of the holidays. Hol- okay. Yeah. We'll I be back either the week of the fourth or the eleventh. Me- probably we should probably just say the eleventh because we I'm are. I'm not saying a day yet. I'm okay. just saying we have. Uh... Second or extra third, life let's... before that weekend, so I feel like we should just. Well, we're gonna pick, basically we're gonna pick up Media Club probably midway through January again. Yeah, about no. half. January midway through January is like eleven and eighteen. We will announce it when we are comfortable with picking it up again, which yes. will be after the new year, which will be in January. At some point, at some point after the new year, it's gonna be in July. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin will kill me. It's okay. I just show up dead sometime in a little black coffin with a pink bow. What just happened? Okay, I really need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, um, I gotta pee too. And I, <laughs> no, wait, we can't all pee. Let's yeah, all go pee. potty! Alright, I'll go pee. Hold on. Okay, Steve first, I guess. So movie. Monica, movie. <laughs> okay, so. This week's movie, uh, it satisfies the itch if you're looking for a drama that surrounds family, power, and your weird fan fiction of Kylo Ren aggressively fucking Lady Gaga. Let's talk about House of Gucci. Kevin? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Kylo Ren? Don't clock that. <laughs> He's mad at me. No, I just don't know what you were talking about. Uh, Monica, repeat it in a little bit. No, slow. I know what you were talking about with Kylo Ren. I don't care about Kylo Ren. Oh, I thought you liked him. No. He is kind of uh, awkward. Yeah, so <laughs> I guess he heard it. Damn, a Lego AT AT. <laughs> I don't like it. Anyway. Like, he's kind of awkward. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right, Mike, it's time to go pee. So, oh, so good. So, as as I kind of stated, uh, um, House of Gucci stars Lady Gaga, Adam Driver, Al Pacino, and Jared Leto. It that also sounds features- like an amazing cast. Uh, Jeremy Irons and Salma Hayek, who arguably, arguably has, while a less oh significant God. role in uh, House of Gucci, has arguably about the same amount of screen time that she did in Eternals. Where can uh, I watch this movie? Um, so and it was directed by Ridley. Millennials didn't see it's my movie because movie. cell phone. Scott. Wait, what movie was he referring to with that one for? Uh, uh Last Duel. Oh, okay. He wow, was really he's got a couple that... movies out this year. Yeah, so he's he's got a lot. So it is adapted uh, from the 2001 book of the same name. Uh, and it uh, surrounds uh, Patrizia Regani and her courtship and eventual marriage to Maurizio Gucci, heir to the Gucci empire. Along the way, we Gucci. see the family struggling uh, to keep the business alive and doing whatever they can uh, to stay relevant and in power. What era? Uh, what time period does this take so place in? I'm glad you asked because oh, that's a very big thing of this movie. I'm sorry. Go potty. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Uh, because uh, the because as as Chris kind of mentioned earlier that where you're like, oh, this is a good cast, and it very much is. The character building is just 
absolutely fantastic. And like the one of the things at the very beginning in the uh, MGM logo is it says it's an art movie, like it's a like an art. It's part of their art series. Mm. Yeah, fancy. Yeah. So, but but the character. Uh, really bring it to life and prevent this movie from sniffing too much of its own farts. <laughs> but, Jerry, uh, but Jeremy Irons, though. I'm yeah, so, Jer- I mean, yeah, he he has a bit of a smaller role, but is still doesn't matter. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, Jared Jared Leto because he's method and crazy mm-hmm. is great, yeah. and Lady Gaga okay. and uh, does a fantastic job. Oh, lady, uh, I love Steffi uh, taking uh, Patricia Regani and bringing her to life. So, uh, or I, and I'm assuming Adam Driver just slays like he always does. I mean, he's just awkward and wonderful, like as he always does. Although I will say, like that scene of because I wasn't joking. There is a scene of uh, uh, there's a scene where they uh, they fuck, eat, uh, <laughs> they fuck, and they fuck hard. It's, does he it, have it's, his awkward like? Have fun uh, going potty. From Last Jedi. Like, what? Is, does Sorry, he have his awkward Last Jedi shirtless pack? Oh, yeah. Don't forget about the shirtless. <laughs> like the belly button. Like the <laughs> rib. Like, rib <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah you look like, just, Jedi, don't so you? I can't tell you, but honestly, I can't remember. Like, I was just so taken. A, like, it was it was a very, it was very natural, but it still made me awkward laugh in the theater. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God, what's Adam, happening? Adam Driver cannot, like, he's not sexy well, but it's not offensive like monica i'm gonna send a pic of that no Mon- like, Mon- monica agrees it, he's it's, it's he's not like, offensive bu- that he's, he's not like, sexy it's like he's like bumblebee cabbage patch kind he, of he's, he's yeah. adorable but that. you can't picture him as sexy yeah let's like, see no, it wasn't that bad. Also, he, he looked like a real. He looked. Like, the proportions looked proper. Oh, good. Uh, but I'm gonna interject why he, real why quick. Why look so weird in that picture? Like, is yeah. it the lighting? Is so, it the pants? So to How's address his tiny head. <laughs> Sorry. So to address uh, Steve's question, when does this take place? Uh, so there are two main criticisms I have of this movie, and the one is the big challenge is with the passage of time. So the movie takes place from night uh from 1978 through 1997. So that's a very long time span to fill within a, a two and a half hours. It's, it's almost a 20 year span. Uh, and there are clues, a few clues here and there of where we are in the timeline. Like they don't always explicitly tell you like, hey, we're in 1983, and oh, we've moved on to 1990. Sometimes there's little little context clues but your main indicator of where we are in terms of the time is the fashion and i really like that as an artistic device i think it's very clever but it can be difficult to grasp because uh the age because they didn't Ooh, really yeah. do a lot of aging uh with the characters like it's very subtle so it's very hard to pinpoint where you are how much time has passed etc so that it can make things a little difficult to follow and the other uh big challenge is that it is with it being such a long span of time period it's a extremely slow burn and if you don't know what the true of because the one of the taglines is that it's inspired by true events and it's un and it's not a hundred percent explicitly clear what we're building toward uh, and the big true event that it's building toward, and I think kind of a required thing to know in order to kind of get a sense of scale of the movie, is that in 1995, uh, Mauricio Gucci was murdered by a hitman. Uh, and that's uh, what we're ultimately building towards here, and having that slow burn too. And it was... And just to give some perspective as to uh, when uh, we saw this movie. So uh, Nat and I had saw this movie like not too long after we watched episode seven of Squid Game. So it was wild because that Eat theme the of, rich. Eat the rich. Yeah, that theme <laughs> with, with the rich and the, that decadence of that lifestyle and just there was a very nice overlap there that I'm like, that is uh, really interesting. And just 
utterly fascinating. And it is uh, important to note that the the movie itself, like, it 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 focused specifically on the lineage of two of the Gucci brothers, uh, Aldo, who is played by Al Pacino, and Rodolfo, who is played by Jeremy Irons, and their sons Maurizio, uh, Adam Driver, and Paolo, Jared Leto. Uh, and... There apparently are a lot more apples in this Gucci tree, uh, making the fa family conflicts a lot more comple complex IRL. So it was really nice that they kind of distilled it down uh, when it already is such a low burn and, and just focusing on these characters and really fo uh, giving the, the few characters that they have a lot of life. Uh, so, and yes, uh, this is the second movie that Ridley Scott has put out this year. Um, because he put out this and The Last Duel between the two of them. Personally, I like The Last Duel better. But overall, I really en I really enjoyed the movie and really love... I always really love great character performances. It is a mixed uh, bag in terms of if you uh, have interest in seeing it. Because it ultimately depends on how you personally handle slow burn plots. Because if you are not a fan of something that burns very slowly, you might not have a bad time. But if you're good with uh something that burns a little more slowly then then you might get some enjoyment out of it nice i've heard mixed things about that movie in general I see and the, it. and the, I probably won't see it in theaters yeah hence why it's a very mixed bag and i think the mixed bag comes from is just if you're the type of person that needs something happening all the time or if you're more okay with something slowly <clears throat> burning yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably just, I'm just probably not gonna see it. <laughs> Doesn't seem like my kind of movie. Yeah, we're we actually talking. We're we'll gonna see a movie on Thursday. We're either gonna go see uh, Encanto or uh, Steven Spielberg's West Side Story. Ooh. I want to see both of those. So oh, is that coming I, out already? It's yeah, already out. It's out this weekend. weekend. Yeah. yeah. Well, we could see. It, it, it's probably going to be what I talk about. Well, oh shit, I'm not here next really week. Like Two weeks from now. You're hey, not I'm here not either next week? Either. Oh, so you told me that. That's right. Yeah. So, Patty, you're definitely in next week. And Steve? Else, he can't be there. Maybe? Yeah. But for anyways. It, he can be stuck. Anyways. You, um, but you have to treat him, but you have to treat him like he, but you have to treat him like he's me and pretend I'm still here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we we, oh, yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to Jess and stuff. We'll, yeah. Guest we'll, stars. We'll probably won't want to do it. Anyway, so we'll probably... <laughs> If I had, to, I, I think we'll see Encanto probably Thursday. My mic was off. Because I mean, that's the one that's gonna go out of theaters quicker. Yeah, I mean, um, well, not, not a, it's not gonna go out of theaters. It's gonna go to Disney Plus sooner. It's been out of, it's been in theaters for a couple weeks now. Okay, I mean, I want to. What's that both. story's just coming out? I, I want to see, see both too, both. but. You've never seen. I mean, we've never seen either of them, so. I guess Encanto would be nice to see. I would love to see it, West Side Story, in big screen, but I'm also fine with seeing it in our beautiful surround sound downstairs. How have I not heard a single thing about this be fucking movie? About Which Encanto? One? Yeah, I did not know that this was a thing at all. Oh, no, it's... Encanto! It's amazing. Like, it, Did it get good reviews? I think it got good reviews, right? No, I don't did. know. 90% of Rotten Tomatoes, 7 out of... 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb, 4 to 5 out of Facebook. <laughs> what? We don't. We don't need to know what I don't Facebook care about says. That. Um, yeah, face, Facebook probably ain't that reliable. You know what's Shut not up. reliable? Christmas movies. That's not. The right, that's anyway. not the right. Now, I, this isn't really applied to me. Me exactly, but uh, I watch. So we we kind of me and Vanessa like to watch bad Christmas movies and drink alcohol. So um, yeah. We picked up one. We we saw found one. I don't even remember what streaming service it was called. It's called the Nuttiest Nutcracker. And it's <laughs> oh like, it, no! Oh, don't, don't, I am not. Don't even get me started. It, it is. It's like it's what happens when you smush Food Fight and the Nutcracker together. I don't want it, that. No, Wait, it, have I seen this? Hold on. It's, oh, I hope you haven't. It's got it's got like talking nuts. It's like the the it's got, it's old movie. It's got talking yeah, it's old. Like apparently Vanessa like grew up with this. It's I watch this and I'm just like <laughs> my mouth is just like nope, never oh my <laughs> god. Why don't Kevin like might have seen the porn no, version. It's, it's fucking no. terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> it does have some good jokes You're the in one it though. That but asked it, me to marry you. 
it, it's t it's got some good jokes in it, but it, it was just more. I'm just like, what the absolute fuck is happening? There's some t very terrible songs that somehow Vanessa still remembered all these years later, and um, it just kind of got me thinking. Like, what is your Christmas movie guilty pleasure? Like, you know, it's a terrible, terrible Christmas movie, but you still enjoy it anyway. And Kevin, I see Kevin swirling some wine around eagerly, so I think <laughs> Kevin's got something to say. <laughs> so originally, I was like. I think all Christmas movies are good. Like, you know, I enjoy them all. And then I realized there was one that Nostalgia Critic specifically reviewed. And oh. then everyone was like, yeah, this is a terrible movie. And I'm like, well, I really like this movie. What well, movie, movie was it, was it? Uh, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Oh. I legitimately oh, really God, like I that movie. That, like, hey, I've never seen hey, it. Hey, Grandma's hey, going to sue the pants kid, off of Santa. Grandma's going to sue the movie. pants off of Santa. What's that? Anna, Anna, do you want to watch that tonight? Uh, it was yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're gonna we're movie gonna movie. watch Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer after the podcast. Oh, I'll have to find that. Maybe maybe I'll maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna they, literally the this. Of the song this is how dialogue. much. <laughs> this is how much I love him. I'm gonna buy it. it was, it's so bad, but I love it so. All much. right. It was where a movie can that, I watch Grandma Got Run Over? It was it was a movie that every year would just pop up on like either it's like spell by Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network, Cartoon Network played it every year. But it's just a movie that I always watched every year and every year. I was kind of like, I could get into this movie. It's stupid as fuck, but it's fun. Okay, uh, <laughs> not the song. How about the uh, fucking movie? I'm on IMDb. I, Let's see. You can watch it on it, Prime for three bucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to do? Three whole dollars. I'm not paying money to watch that. Um, I $3. Because I love <laughs> him. 4.5 out of 10 on IMDb. Because That's it, not as Google bad as I thought. Ninety-one percent of people liked this movie. Hey, <laughs> Kevin's one of those users. Why did it come out on Halloween? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it came out on October thirty-first of two thousand. What? Hey, no, no, no. Oh, you're you, you, hey, guys, guys, no, you can, guys, you yeah. can rent it on standard definition for two ninety-nine, or you could Ugh. buy it on standard definition for seven ninety-nine. No thanks. I'm gonna yeah. buy it because I love this stupid what? human. Oh, it's the same guy who directed the first Tom and Jerry movie. <laughs> I don't know how to do Jay. it. So, but oh, in reality, nice. my favorite Christmas movie though is Elf. Hands down, undisputed. I have Elf. the hottest of Christmas takes. I don't like Elf. You're wrong. I have I know, soured fair. on Elf over the years. I don't Ugh. hate it, but I don't like it as much as I used to. Um, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Now. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I will oh, fight anyone who disagrees. <laughs> okay, maybe not I fight, know. but I will vehemently disagree with you. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Brian. Movie hot takes. Can I have something confirm me? Did we talk about this when we played Minecraft last week? What, what movie, uh, movie, movie hot movie hot takes? Movie hot takes. We might have. Okay, because I, I, was, I, was, I was just going to reiterate Home Alone 3. Oh yeah, we did talk about. We that. We did talk yeah. about that, yeah. Okay, which well, actually, confirmation because I don't remember. On, on Twitter, don't, I did we see... don't. Shh, we don't talk about Home Alone three. No, no, no. I saw a lot of people defending Home Alone three. Uh, Home Alone four was apparently the crap I, one. No, Home Alone I, four is crap. No, the only Home Alone I talk about is Home. <laughs> and apparently, Home Alone five is not Wait, bad. Is Home Alone two the one with Trump? Yes. Home yes. Alone two is Trump. That but one's I'm, also kind of ish. Okay. But ish. apparently, Home Alone Five, mm -hmm. the newest one that just came out, is not no, terrible. Six came out. I don't. Six if it's not with, if it's not with my boy, then it doesn't fucking matter. Nope. Yep. I remember Home Alone Four. Home Alone Four is terrible. It, is it with McCall? Huh? No, none of them are. So Only one the first two. two. Yeah. So the first two, are what count? Never saw five. I definitely saw four. Oh no. I didn't know five was hey. a thing until I saw a John Tron video. Hey, fun <laughs> fact. Um. I have my Amazon Prime video pulled up on my phone, and the three top searches are Food Wars, Catch Me If You Can, and Blue Mountain State. Cool. Neat. Neat. Food Wars Anyways. is the number one! Anyone else <laughs> got any movie hot takes? Christmas movie hot takes? Or, or, or Christmas movie guilty pleasures. Yes. I don't really have one, but I also don't regularly watch Christmas movies, but I just want to throw out, like, if you're looking for a bad Christmas movie to watch, uh, The Christmas Tree... Uh, it is, oh. and I... it is very, very terrible. Uh, Red Letter Media did a riff on it, and it. Woo! I feel like the nostalgia critic did that yeah, one. I'm on 
too. Uh, Probably. Um, y'all know I, my, me, y'all me know and my, my bro- oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just, y'all know my stance on the, the idea of a guilty pleasure in that I don't think it exists. If you like and, it, you think and, it's good. And that but you're I wrong, will say, but... if you want a, if you want a, a, a C tier Hallmark Christmas movie recommendation, I haven't seen it, but I've been listening to Romancing the Pod and they, they did a, a Princess for Christmas. It's got Pierce Brosnan in it. Oh, and, uh, no. Or no. No, it's one of the Bonds. Not him. It's a. Uh, it was one of the other ones. It was either Roger Moore or Timothy Dalton. I can't remember. Oh, okay. It was one of the Bonds. So, uh, check that one out as a background Christmas movie. Me, me and my brother <laughs> are doing. We do. Uh, we do monthly yeah. like bad movie, bad movie nights, and I think our holiday special is one going to be the Star Wars holiday special, and our palate cleanser is going to be Jingle All the Way with uh, well, which is one of those Schwarzenegger dumb Schwarzenegger movies, which should be fun. Did anyone see the that? Shitty Mel Gibson shitty, movie, shitty bang bang? Christmas movie from last year. No, no. It's it's called Fat Man. It's basically an R. It's an R-rated Christmas movie where some rich kid puts out a hit on Santa. Mel Gibson is Santa, and so it's base. It's basically like an action movie with Santa. Hey, if Mel there's Gibson's a new. Dead, he doesn't have to interact with any Jewish people. <laughs> there, there's a new um. There's a, new one coming, what? there's a new Christmas movie coming out where it's a claymation starring Seth Rogen where it's about the next Santa. Yay. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like we need a palate cleanser after I don't all that. Think, yeah, I, I feel like a good palate cleanser. Seth Rogen anymore. A good palate cleanser. We'll be talking about some sports. Sports, sports Corner! Sports. This place for sports. Yay. We were all in college. Y- y'all had what? 7 o'clock, 7, 7 a.m. finals. Yes. Uh, it was well, bullshit. Uh, University of Notre Dame, well, former University of Nor- <laughs> Notre Dame football coach decided oh, oh, to okay. have a meeting at 7 a.m. with all of the players saying That's that he, a- was depart- he was departing for Louisiana State University's head coaching job. Fun fact. How um, many showed up? Both of their, both of, well, I, I don't give a shit. That doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Um, fun fact. Uh, both the team seasons aren't done yet. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the meeting supposedly lasted about 10 minutes and uh, Brian Kelly, the now Notre- former Notre Dame head coach, was on a plane to LSU within the hour. Hot damn. Um, wow, what a fucking dick. Like I, like I said, both team seasons aren't over as Notre Dame plays Oklahoma State on New Year's, on New Year's Day. Oh, and no. yes, they have, a, they have a replacement coach for that game. Okay, uh, good. Kelly will make his coaching debut for LSU's uh, bowl game, which I have no fucking idea who they're playing. I forget who they're playing. Anyway, um, I mentioned last week Los Angeles Kings player Brendan Lemieux bit Ottawa Senators captain during a scrum. Turns out him and his father became the first father-son duo to be suspended from the NHL for biting. What? <laughs> Are you Wait, you said you said suspended for fighting yep. before? <laughs> he, he, yeah, his dad Claude Lemieux got suspended in the 1986 Stanley Cup Finals. You said father son. Fighting. You said fa- like father, you said son. you said first father son duo. I was like yes, and then you said for biting, and I was like no. <laughs> uh, Carolina Hurricanes rookie Seth Jarvis is living with teammate Sebastian Aho. While other teammate Kasperi Kotka and Yemi gave Jarvis an Xbox, but it's all in Finnish. Um, both <laughs> Aho and KK are Finnish, and Jarvis is not. Yeah. Rip. Jarvis is Rip. trying to use Google Translate to figure out how to factory reset his Xbox. <laughs> uh, the International Ice Hockey Federation is has allowed the China men's ice hockey team to participate in the 2022 Olympics, despite the team's incredible ineptness at the sport. They will be put in, the, in Group A, which includes teams like Canada, the United States, and Germany. It's going to be a long group stage set of games. Yay! Um, um, yes, he's still around. Running back Adrian Peterson signed with the Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of old fucks, allegedly Pittsburgh, allegedly Pittsburgh Steeler quarterback Ben Roethlisberger, a.k.a. Captain Fat Fuck, texted former teammates that is that this is his current 
that this current season will be his last season in the NFL. If you look at this, if you just look at a picture of this man, tell me he is a professional athlete. What's his name? Ben Roethlisberger. You don't need to. Oh. Roethlisberger. It's, oh, yep, there it was. Look at him and tell me he's a professional athlete. He's he, a professional athlete. Where'd you send this? He didn't. I didn't send. Just I didn't send. it. Uh, no, he looks like um. He looks like your drunk uncle at every family. family yep, that's gathering. it. That's that's it. <laughs> <laughs> or my it's me, I'm the drunk uncle. Or my drunk brother-in-law. Um, the Detroit Lions have won a game for the first time this season. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, against yay, the Bears. The Lions. Against, no, they against they the, the Minnesota Vi- the Bears. They beat the, the Minnesota. Sorry, Ryan. The Lions? They beat the Minnesota Vikings. <gasps> 20, 29 Vikings. 27. Oh, no. What's the Vikings record? They're bullshit. Uh, now 5 and 7, I think. Sad I for guess. them. I remember the Vikings used to be the team to beat. Yep, yeah. Not anymore. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, some some person's dad was so convinced to get the COVID vaccine because he found out Aaron Rodgers was against it. Uh, and what? Any, anything Aaron Rodgers is against, they are for. So, I mean, oh, good, that's a good for way to live life. I guess good for them, but also, what the fuck? <laughs> No, no, I mean... he's got a point. He's got a point. No, he <laughs> has a point, but it's the point is still what the fuck. <laughs> He's a little confused, but he got the spirit. <laughs> he got spirit. He? Yes, he do. He got spirit. How about you? Uh... It's the spirits exiting his body <laughs> because he got the COVID vaccine. Uh... It's the spirits. What? I don't know. What? I was what? done. Sports. No. Sports! Corner. <laughs> the place for Damn. sports. That was a short sports corner, Ryan. No. Yeah, I didn't have a lot this week. Okay. That's fair. I mean, it is winter time, so. I mean, there's still sports in the winter. Ish. Is there, though? Yes. Yes, there are plenty of sports. There is figure skating. And a bunch of other sports. Just figure skating. (laughs) A lot of sports in the No, just figure skating. What what are you doing, Kev? There it is. He's mad at me. No, I'm not. I'm just, I was trying to find the GIF thing for Ryan. Anyways, that that ends the podcast for the week. It's been an hour and 43 minutes. Thanks, babe. On the podcast. Um, 13 more minutes than we would have liked. No, that's fine. Um, that's a, I'm tired. I gotta go to this bed this early. is all my fault because I had to go on on on. No, no, no it wasn't necessarily. No. It makes sex noises. No, Monica, yes. we started the podcast once we had you here. No, we, we talked too much about Squid Game is what it happened. Yeah. Well, there were three. That was episodes. a finale, and there were three. Yeah, we episodes. talked for a solid forty-five minutes about Squid Game. Yeah. <laughs> it was an hour. Yeah. Um. Anyways. Um. So yeah, we're gonna take a break from Media Club. Blah blah blah. Um. Tomorrow, I hopefully be playing some Halo Infinite, the campaign. Um. That should be fun. I will um, be playing. Tell me if it's something. worth it, Kevin. I because I will definitely think about buying it because I get it for free, and the camp the co-op campaign isn't out tomorrow. Oh, well, no, 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 I mean, I want to play, it's a, a, open world Halo game sounds very interesting to me. It, it sounds like it's kind of like a Borderlands open world, where, like, there's an open, like, central world, and then there's, like, when you, when you reach a point where the mission starts, you get shepherded off into, like, a linear area. Bro. No, that's massive. I, okay. Fucking Anyways. love, <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's, bro, I fucking love Borderlands. That's what the campaign sounds like. But uh, is there is there like uh like abilities and shit that you can yes. like level up and stuff? Well, I don't know. I don't Kevin, know nothing about it. You're a hero resource, my dude. Don't Let be dicky talk. about it. So it, it's kind of got some RPG Itchy elements. Dicky. Like it, it does have that whole like level up things. You 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 could do side missions for extra points to get extra abilities and stuff. I have heard that the other abilities are kind of useless compared to the grappling hook, where some of them are like, yeah, this is cool. I'll use it a couple times, but I'm also gonna use the grappling hook. Um, bro, like you, you, you have just single handedly sold me on this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, but so that should be fun. Um, so I'm gonna check it out tomorrow. Stay tuned if you want to know what it's all about. Hopefully, um, 
And yeah, and then Thursday, no stream, probably. And Friday, maybe some Stardew Valley with Chris if they Hopefully. finally. No, it, yeah, if they update the fucking thing, I am so mad. Which there has been unofficial updates and stuff, so maybe we'll try some of those out. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> um, and this weekend's totally up in the air, so we'll see what's happening. Well, this um, weekend we have a little bit of family and. Yes, I know. On Sunday, work Friday, thing, work Saturday. things. Anyways. That was so, yes, weekend's up in the air, so. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Look at my return. Anyone want to go come dumpster diving? Yeah, sure. <laughs> cool. <laughs>